All of the world's greatest mega projects started with a single idea. There was an issue that needed to be fixed, or an opportunity waiting to be claimed. Investors and governments supply funding, while construction crews and engineers break ground. Sometimes, though, ambition gets in the way of reality, and for one reason or another, things don't turn out as expected, leading to billions of dollars lost in the process. From 300 sinking islands off the coast of Dubai to an abandoned Chinese replica of Paris, here are five of the most expensive abandoned mega projects. Near the city of Waxahachie, Texas, lies what would have been the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator facility if it were ever finished. Thanks to setbacks and issues with the budget, the project was cancelled in 1993 after over $2 billion had already been spent. The idea for the facility was first proposed in the December 1976 National Reference Designs Study. During the 1980s, popularity for the idea grew to the point that the U.S. Department of Energy began conducting an extensive review. By 1987, concerns had risen about the cost of the project. At this time, Congress was told the project would be able to be completed with a budget of $4.4 billion. United States leaders hoped to get financial support from many countries outside the United States, such as Russia, Japan, Canada, and countries within Europe. Unfortunately, many problems arose with this thought. First off, the project was promoted as an example of American superiority. Second, funding from European countries was already being directed towards their own accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider. Eventually, Congress began allocating funds annually, and work commenced. Buildings were developed, and a total of 14 miles, or 22 and a half kilometers, was bored. By 1992, criticism began to grow rapidly, with the majority of the House of Representatives rejecting funding. By this point, the total cost of the project had nearly doubled to $8.4 billion. In 1993, further funding was rejected, and the project closed its doors for good. The site was then given to Ellis County, which spent years trying to sell the land, eventually succeeding in 2006. Between 2006 and 2012, the buildings had become a popular destination for parties and thieves. In 2012, the facility was once again sold. The new owners actually renovated the buildings and now use them to manufacture a range of products for oil fields. Dubai is known around the world as a luxurious and over-the-top city. Thanks to an abundance of available funding, the city has spared no expense to develop some of the largest and most amazing buildings on Earth. In this quest to develop the land, some projects were taken on that were simply doomed from the start. The World Islands is an archipelago of artificial islands just off the coast of Dubai meant to resemble a map of the world. After four years, the project was halted during the 2008 financial crisis. This same year, 60% of the islands were sold to private contractors who have mostly failed to initiate any sort of further development. As of 2016, only a small handful of the 300 islands have been developed, with most of the work being done on one project named the Heart of Europe. To make matters worse, perhaps the greatest threat facing this enormous project is the fact that many of the islands are simply sinking back into the sea. While reports of this have been denied, a private investigation in 2010 found them to be accurate. The reason for this is the islands were created by dredging sand from the ocean floor. Over the years, this sand has moved and been eroded away by the water, causing some of the islands to begin sinking or simply shrinking from their original size. Could they fix this by dredging more sand? Possibly but the constant upkeep would prove to be a costly endeavor. As of 2021, the islands are almost entirely empty, besides the few projects that have been finished or are underway as mentioned before. With billions already sunken into this project, who knows where its future lies? 
North Korea is not a country known for tourism, but back in the 1980s, they were hoping to change this. The idea was that by developing a large hotel, it would attract foreign investors to North Korea, helping to improve their struggling economy. A representative for North Korea even promised to allow investors to operate casinos, nightclubs, and lounges. It was a move to open North Korea to the rest of the world. But sadly, that dream did not come to fruition. Construction of the Ryugyong Hotel first began in 1987, with the hopes of having it open in 1992, right in time for Kim Il-sung's 80th birthday. By the time this year came around, the building had in fact reached its full height, a whopping 105 stories. But following the dissolution of the Soviet Union, North Korea entered into an economic crisis and construction was abruptly halted. Fast forward to 2008, when construction commenced once again, after 16 years of inactivity. Three years later, the outside of the building was complete, and I must say, it was looking pretty good. Sadly, that's about where the story ends. An opening was planned for 2013, but later suspended. There has been some evidence of construction continuing, but it's not much. As of today, the Ryugyong Hotel holds the Guinness World Record for being the tallest unoccupied building in the world. On the eastern coast of China lies the city of Tianduchang, a relatively new city with construction beginning as recently as 2007. The developer's vision was to create a small, luxurious community modeled after Paris, and well, they succeeded at that. Smack in the middle of all the buildings sits a 350-foot or 108-meter-tall replica of the Eiffel Tower. Sadly, despite their vision and hard work, the town has struggled to attract people. Built to hold up to 10,000 residents, the total population six years after it was first developed was estimated at around 2,000 people. Because of this, local and worldwide publications began to label Tianduchang as a ghost town, and for good reason. Finally, in 2017, 10 years after it was first developed, the city was mostly occupied. Now, this isn't the first time Chinese developers have built copycat cities. Around China exist its own versions of Hallstatt, Austria, and Venice, Italy. Even though today Tianduchang is no longer considered a ghost town, developers still had to eat their losses for almost 10 years waiting for residents to move in. In recent years, San Francisco has been working with a developer to transform the abandoned San Francisco Naval Shipyard into a beautiful community with 12,000 new homes and roughly 5 million square feet of office and commercial space. If completed, it would have transformed the decaying area into a luxurious and vibrant community. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like this project will ever be completed. In 2018, two employees pleaded guilty to falsifying soil test results in order to speed up the development process. Upon discovery of this, the project was immediately put on hold. Now, in order to understand this all better, let me give you some backstory. Following World War II, the military conducted hundreds of nuclear tests at sea. Many of these blasts were also done on ships, causing them to become contaminated with radiation. Many of these ships were sunk during or after the tests, but the ones that weren't were towed back to this very shipyard to be studied. Part of this revamp project included cleaning up any chemicals that seeped into the soil, along with testing for radioactive contamination. Due to the discovery of falsified soil samples, a lengthy investigation ensued that has put most of this massive and expensive megaproject on hold. With over $1 billion already sunk into cleanup and development costs, there is no telling when the San Francisco shipyard revamp will ever be completed. About 150 miles south of the city of Madrid lies the Ciudad Real Airport, a bold development that has been nothing but a headache from the start. 
In the early 2000s, the economy in Europe was booming, and funding for expansion was relatively easy. When the financial crisis hit in 2008, this all changed, and many large projects were halted or ended altogether. The Ciudad Real Central Airport was one of these projects. The goal was to help alleviate traffic from Madrid's main airport, but the far location from the city meant the airport saw almost no use, despite many low-cost flight options. With over 1 billion euros invested into the project, developers constantly struggled to attract passengers. In the end, the airport was only operational for three years, with flights only coming from two airlines. Once it closed its doors, it began to fall into a state of disrepair. It sat mostly abandoned for years before some activity began in 2019, but still no flights. During the pandemic, it was used to store aircraft, housing as many as 200 at its peak. In recent months, that number is less than half, and the airport has once again closed its doors. Are there any abandoned mega projects that we missed in this video? Let us know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. As always, thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in next time.